structure or the cells or the, 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 the brain and body. This is not possible. In fact, we can't even do this spiritually. Tim keeps hearing loud spiritually. We can't do this. Your health problems are from lifestyle and what you put in and put on and expose your brain and body to, and you have to um, watch your health. You can't um, have a lifestyle that consistently causes you um, health problems um, because we can't heal. He can't lay hands on you and heal. He for certain can't resurrect from the dead. But he um, has enormous out spiritual. He um, has command over the host. His identity is um, God. The Creator, the Lord of everything, the King of everything, Christ and the Messiah, the one living God, the one, the one um, God, the one living God. Therefore, this information that he's writing that is getting altered all over the place and there's all sorts of identity theft all over the internet is the true enough Third Testament to Bibles. And what do you think is going to happen to this in 1,000 years at the current rate? What do you think it's going to look like in 2,000 years? It's going to be all fell down. Not fell up. Fell down. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to be uh, confiscated. Taken with search and seizure. Hit with nuclear weapons. Destroyed with wars like what happened with Jerusalem. And, you know, we don't have the original Ten Commandments. We don't have the original Ark of the Covenant. We have, we have none of this, you know. We don't even have any of the original temple on um, anything. All of this was, was taken and much of it destroyed and burned and just destroyed. Look what they did to the temple. How they, they purposely destroyed it. Therefore, what do you think is going to happen to this information that Ted is trying to protect and get to go into the future within 1,000 years and for certain within 2,000 years? There's going to be a lot of problems. Therefore, it's enormously important, like Ted said, that Teddy and scribes take this enormously important, uh, you know, take this uh, job enormously um, seriously to protect the True and the Third Testament to Bibles. Make sure these are guardians of the True and the Third Testament to Bibles. Make sure this is taken into the future for thousands of years. Make sure that this gets into the future for thousands of years. You need to make sure this does not get. Um, altered too much. You need to make sure that originals get into the future how original possible for thousands of years with absolutely no edits, no outtakes, no fixes, no modifications, no derivatives also. You need to make sure this gets into the future for thousands of years without any modifications in the slightest. Because you know what? In addition to what Ted's telling you about this and this, did you know that the E.G. White estate keeps editing L.N.G. White's writing? And you know that um, it may be difficult to find the original. What did she write before any editors got to it? Huh? You know, what did she write? Where is this information? Where are her original notes, her original writing, her original notes in the raw before any editing were done? Before any edit, before any editors even touched it? That's a good question. And this is what Ted and the host want done to Ted's writing and internet site development and word. We want Ted's original rough draft, raw, uncooked, unedited, unrevised information to also get into the future. Maybe, you know, it can parallel, but it has to get into the future. The original information, the original rough draft information has to get into the future and even the original rough draft information of Ellen G. White is rapidly getting um, covered up or covered down, really, um, and being altered, you know. And and what's what were the for example, what are the writings of Ellen G. White uh, for the Seventh Day Adventist going to look like in a thousand years? Think about it. Considering everything that's being done to the writings of Ellen G. White. Uh, you're going to be uh, shocked, you know, if you have any originals remaining anywhere that you can prove originals. And how in a thousand years can you prove it's an original? <laughs> That's another good question. How can you really prove 
that this is original, that this is original from the authors and his all inspired word of God. You can't, and Ted keeps hearing loud spiritually, this is not, and Ted keeps hearing loud spiritually, there was a lot lost. There were many things that were, um, again, confiscated, taken with search and seizure, burned, covered up, destroyed, and then there were things written from basically from scratch or from what people knew uh, passed on verbally and, and notes here and there and trying to put all the pieces back together to make this look like we um, didn't do all these things, you know, called um, Roman Empire, Caesar, um, secret Caesar, transition to secret Roman Empire, then the Holy Roman Empire that called themselves holy took over, and then the Holy Roman Empire for um, a, a long time, and popes, and uh, you think popes have conflicts of interest in the Roman Catholic Church? You better believe it. Huge conflicts of interest, enormous infrastructure that uh, that you know people protecting their their positions and their careers and their jobs and what they've done and what they did and they can't speak out too much against the Roman Catholic Church if they're in you know working for the church or the or there'll be a uh, excommunicated, fired and excommunicated. Therefore, uh, people that work for churches that are still working for them um, are having to, if they're believing in Ted in the slightest, are having to be enormously careful and they're having to play this real subtle political game or do things secretly. And um, Ted trusts his loud spiritual much more than he trusts, you know, scriptures, than he would trust this entire, um, you know, heavy scripture and Bible. He trusts his loud spiritual much more at this point in time. Um, for certain, in the last about three and a half years, um, you know, um, started around 2003, it really started getting pretty um, crystal clear and it really started feeling like it was to the right, and it really started feeling like it was from up, and I kept doing these maximum legal things I could do to get the 100% uh, truth how much I could, and I do believe the hosts are getting through. I don't believe this is a deception. I don't believe I am deceiving, and I don't believe I'm deception. And what just caused him to do that? Say, what is in Ted? Who is in Ted? What is in Ted? Um, mostly the host and then Satan. Is this true? Yes. What made Ted do the um? um Satan to uh, make people have doubt that Ted's kind of making this up like Ted's thinking about it. Is this what just happened? Yes. Who makes Ted do writing mistakes? Satan and the demons interfere how much those can. Is this true? Yes. You know, this is a, a terribly uh, difficult thing to get through, and in 1,000 years, this is going to be, um, unless some are enormous guardians and scribes uh, protecting the original information enormously, the original disc are never going to make it into the future. Copies of the original disc are never going to make it into the, uh, into the future. Copies of the original information are never going to make it in the future even